Hello traders. What if you could build powerful custom indicators with just a prompt? Well, with TrendSpider's new AI coding assistant, you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Today, we're going to be putting our attention on Weinstein Stage Analysis, a framework that traders have relied on for decades to spot breakouts, trends, and momentum shifts with clarity. But before we get into building the indicator, let's take a moment to review this powerful trading methodology. Weinstein Stage Analysis divides a stock's life cycle into four stages, with the 30-week simple moving average as the cornerstone for identifying each one. It all begins with stage one, also known as the accumulation stage, when a stock moves sideways after a long-term decline and trades around a flattening 30-week SMA. This is generally where smart money begins stepping in, but there is no clear trend yet. Next is stage two, the advancing stage, where the stock breaks out above the resistance formed in stage one and climbs above a rising 30-week SMA. Volume tends to pick up during this phase, confirming the strength of the trend. This is when traders who follow trend-following systems begin to step in to capture the bulk of the upward movement. Eventually, the stock reaches stage three, the distribution stage. After a strong run, the price starts to flatten out and the 30-week SMA loses its upward slope. Volume spikes on down days hint that sellers are taking control. This is often the warning sign of a shift to the next phase. Finally, we have stage four, the declining stage, where the stock breaks below a falling 30-week SMA and selling pressure accelerates. Volume often confirms the weakness as the stock moves lower. This is the phase to avoid, or for some traders, the opportunity to short. The 30-week SMA is your guide through all of this, helping you identify where a stock is in its life cycle so that you can make confident, informed decisions. Now that we understand the stages, let's use TrendSpider's AI coding assistant to help us build an indicator that quickly and easily identifies these stages using a simple color coding technique. For our first prompt, let's start with the easiest stages to identify, stage two, the advancing stage, and stage four, the declining stage. To define them, we used this prompt. Create a Weinstein stage analysis indicator that paints all candles that open and close above an increasing 30 period SMA green. Also paint candles green if they close more than 10% above a 30 period SMA. Paint all candles that open and close below a decreasing 30 period SMA red. Also paint candles red if they close more than 10% below the 30 period SMA. Quickly, we get back some results and they look pretty good. The indicator is identifying the candles in stage two and stage four, and that's all we're looking to achieve at this point. So we'll go ahead and accept the code, save the indicator as is so that we can reference it again if we make any mistakes on our next prompt. Next, we need to define stages one and three. Since these stages see price consolidating around the 30-week SMA, the prompt we use to define these candles needs to be more nuanced. Here's where we landed. Paint a candle orange if it closes below but within range of the 30-period SMA. Paint a candle light green if it closes above but within range of the 30-period SMA. The range should be 5%. Again, we get a result back and it's basically what we're looking for. It is indeed coloring candles as intended, but we're seeing some orange or stage three candles during stage one and some light green or stage one candles during stage three. This refinement introduces a level of precision in distinguishing between stages one and three, recognizing the subtle shifts in market sentiment during consolidation phases. However, we understand that markets vary in their volatility and the exactitude required may differ from trader to trader. As such, with the within range parameter in the indicator settings, you have the flexibility to adjust the range percentage to suit your trading style. Widening the range may make it easier to identify broader transitions between stages, accommodating more volatile stocks or those whose price action is less tightly bound to the moving average. Alternatively, narrowing the range can sharpen the criteria, offering a tighter, more conservative approach to stage identification. This adjustment parameter ensures that our indicator can be tailored to meet various analytical needs, making it a versatile tool for diverse trading strategies. With our foundational stages defined and color-coded, the next step is to enhance the functionality and customization of our new indicator to enable use across the platform. The third prompt focuses on broadening the indicator's capabilities. Allow me to adjust the type of moving average in candle colors. 
Create signals for each of the stages. Name light green candles stage one, green candles stage two, orange candles stage three, and red candles stage four. With this final step, we can save the indicator once more, open up its control panel, and we'll see that now we can adjust the moving average to any style we want, and the colors are now editable. Moving over to the scanner, when we search the indicator, we now see four signal options, one for each stage. This indicator is now fully customizable, and the signals make it even more powerful for scanning and identifying opportunities. Let's start with identifying stage two breakouts. It's no secret that when a stock moves from stage one, the accumulation stage, into stage two, the advancing stage, it often signals a strong upside opportunity. To set this up, you'll want to use the stage two signal in the scanner, along with the signal emerged filter to catch the transition. Then add conditions to confirm that the stock was previously in stage one. This ensures that you're identifying a breakout from a solid base. Don't forget to include volume confirmation by using an RVOL indicator. A spike in trading volume can validate that there's significant buying interest behind the move, giving you more confidence in the breakout. Now, what about stage two pullbacks? For stocks already in a strong uptrend, short-term pullbacks to key support levels can offer great re-entry points. Here's how to catch them. First, confirm that the stock has consistently shown stage two signals over the past few weeks. This tells you that the uptrend is still intact. Next, add a condition to check if the most recent candle's low is within 5% of the 30-week SMA. This helps you zero in on stocks pulling back slightly within a larger uptrend, which is often a bullish signal for continuation. And to make sure the stock is still a top performer, add a relative performance check. This ensures that even during a pullback, the stock is outpacing its peers, increasing the likelihood that it's just a temporary dip, not a reversal. Finally, let's talk about spotting a stage four breakdown. When a stock transitions from stage three, the distribution stage, into stage four, the declining stage, it often leads to a significant decline. The stage four breakdown alert scan helps you catch this shift early. Start by looking for stocks that have consistently shown stage three signals for several weeks. This consistency points to a distribution phase where the stock is likely topping out. Then check that the highest point of the most recent weekly candle is just below the 30 week SMA within a tight 2% range. This indicates the stock is testing resistance at the SMA, but failing to break above it, suggesting a potential breakdown is just around the corner. With these setups, you're equipped to find actionable opportunities no matter where a stock is in its life cycle. So there you have it. With just three simple prompts, we've built an indicator that identifies the key components of Weinstein stage analysis, and we can use it across TrendSpider in our scans, alerts, and strategies. I hope this video inspires you to give the AI coding assistant a try. As always, happy trading, and we'll catch you next time.